Good morning guys and welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. As you know, we're out on a getaway. So what does today hold for us? Stay tuned because I sure don't know either. So we're going to find out together. Okay guys, we're at the gas station filling back up because we're just going to take another little drive around. We're going to go, I know we're going to go look at the little town of Montreat and we heard it's just really quaint, a cute little place to visit and we're going to kind of stay close to the end today, kind of we're staying right in Black Mountain, well with the exception of going to Montreat which is just down the road. We're going to um, tour Montreat and then we're just going to kind of stay around Black Mountain um, Bryant told me a while ago he's trying to go into AFib. Oh my goodness. Anyway. <laughs> Not today, Satan. Not today. So, um, we are just going to um, ride around and just see what we can get into. And we're taking you guys with us. Okay, guys. A lot of you shop at Ingalls. And I have been dying to go to an Ingalls. But we do not have them in Ashboro, where we live and where we're from. But we're just... Th what three hours away from home and there's ingles everywhere up here and i'm thinking this is either their headquarters or a distribution center or something um probably distribution probably center. i don't know where their headquarters is but y'all let's get one in ashboro well actually let me go to one first <laughs> but um i love to go into a new grocery store and just to see what it's about so anyway there it is you can't see all the tractor trailers behind but i bet there's probably a good two to three hundred trailers executive offices that's what it says in the building Tell executive them. offices now why do we not have an ingles in ashboro ingles come to ashboro Okay guys, we've made it to Montreat and it is a beautiful little area. Um, I haven't filmed a whole lot just because I was too busy looking and um, we're actually in a college area. Did you just give me a weird face? Um, it, we're actually in like a little, is it, I, I guess a college community. Mm -hmm. It's also the, the, the Montreat Community Center we're in and we're fixing to go into this store called 10,000 Villages. And it's stuff made by handmade, handmade from other countries, other all around the world, all around the world. So third we're gonna world, third world countries. I don't know that they'll let me film in there, so um, I wanted to tell you where we were going in first. Tell them why else Montreat? Uh, what put Montreat on the map? Also, the it's the home of Billy Graham. It's where he and his wife uh, made their res home resided. Yeah. So, um, and I don't know where their home is. I don't know if we'll see it or anything, but I doubt it. Um, we're going in here to see what this is like a little Presbyterian mm -hmm. um, church village so um, we're going to go in here and just see what this 10,000 villages is about we'll be back back okay guys here's just a little shot of the village that we're in everything is rock beautiful we're standing right here on the dam. Here is some of the um, items at the 10,000 villages. Hey, be careful, there's a viper, a viper. <laughs> a viper, a cobra. a cobra. There's a cobra. Y'all, aren't in this cool? We're going in. Okay, so that was a cute and it a unique little store. Unique, yes. They had lots of jewelry handcrafted from all over the world. They had this cool jewelry handcrafted from undetonated bombs in Cambodia. And so that was really cool. They would have a special person come in and what do you say when you undetonize? They didn't uh, blow it up. They just made it inactive, whatever the word is. But anyway, and then they would then they would send the casings 
to this arts group and they would make jewelry. But I didn't buy any. I didn't buy any jewelry. But I will show you what I did buy. Bought me some Ethiopian coffee. Coffee. Medium and lovely. And it's got that little hole and it smells so good. And then I also bought you know, me and my fat self. <laughs> I bought some chocolate. It's a little bitty chocolate bar and we're going to share it. Um, it's Divine Smooth Milk Chocolate. Now, I don't think this is made overseas. Oh, it says owned by Cocoa Farmers. Maybe it is. But anyway, so we're going to try this chocolate out. So coffee and chocolate. That's all I got in that store. I didn't film because I didn't ask if I could. And um, so we I just didn't. didn't. Want to get kicked out. And I should have asked because we were the only ones in there. But I didn't. So, anyway, we're headed back to Black Mountain, I think, and we're going to tour that little town. He hasn't told me if we're grabbing lunch yet or not. Don't know, it's still up in there. We had a late breakfast. We had breakfast at 8 o'clock. It was late. But, well, it is late for us, but we don't ever eat breakfast. So, really, we had a breakfast and we don't normally have breakfast. So, so but anyway. We're, so, we're full. Speak for yourself. So, all right, nice. we're headed to Black Mountain. Bridge. Okay, guys, here's a pretty little rock bridge that we came through coming across, and now we're going back through it. Not really bridge. It's, leaving Montreat. Yeah, we're leaving Montreat and heading back towards Black Mountain. I love their their berry town. Okay, guys, I am in my favorite store I have found so far. And look at these shirts. Every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. Y'all, these shirts are amazing. Such great Christian messages on here. Y'all know I'm the joy lady. I love joy. I've got that joy, joy, joy. Y'all, this is a wonderful store. Y'all go check them out. You can order from their website. They may not be able to see it. Tell them what it is. It, it, they can see. Put it back down. MountainMeGifts.com Yeah, www.MountainMeGifts.com It's in Black Mountain. And if you're ever in this area, please stop in and show them some love. It is a beautiful store. I mean, look at, look at this. Y'all, it is Christian owned and operated. They love the Lord. And it is just absolutely a wonderful, wonderful store. Bryant is telling the owner our story of our move home and how God showed up and did miracles for us. Y'all look at this. You know I love cardinals. Look at all these cardinal things. And I'll, any kind of bird. I love just birds. Love birds. This is such a wonderful, wonderful store. www.mountainmegifts.com Y'all, please go check them out. Um, leave them some orders. <laughs> Order some gifts for your loved ones. Um, I'm just in awe of these shirts. These shirts are amazing. Spread cheer, be awesome, and stay humble. And there's scripture verses for everyone. And that's the kind of woman I want to be right there. When my boots hit the floor in the morning, the devil says, oh no, she's up. Of course, it won't be my cowboy boots. It'll be my chicken poop boots, but... <laughs> 
Um, so, y'all, this store is amazing. It is beautiful. It's wonderful. And it's godly. So, y'all go, go check their website out. I will link it down below in the description. I'll have their website down in the description. Um, I'm getting one of these. I've started having some dark circles. And I'm just going to get me a therapeutic eye mask to wear. <laughs> Brian thinks I'm, um, pampering myself a little too much, but I'm getting me one. They have some diffusers, some oils. I love this diffuser. It changes colors. And look at these umbrellas. They are so beautiful. So y'all go check them out. Remember, I'll leave their website down below. And when you email them or when you send them anything, be sure you tell them that the farm and pastor's wife sent you over their way. All right, guys, we have made our way into a kitchen store. Imagine that. My favorite kind. Her favorite kind. We're looking, we're looking at some knives. Look, here's one of those here. magnetic knives. There's a magnetic strip that you hang up on the wall. That I, ha I have my teaspoons hanging on. Yep, she's got a teaspoon. This is made for knives. She's got a teaspoon hanging on that. So, um, anyway, we're just hanging out here. Um, looking at all the goodies. Looking at all the goodies. Here's the pepper grinders. If you Look. ever go out to eat with me, I always like fresh ground pepper on my salad. Look how easy that is on your hands. Do it, from an, no... do it from an angle we can see. See how it ratchets There's left no to right? With your hands. Yeah. And look what we're getting, Judah. Oh, check us out. Hold them long way so they can see it there. It's a bulldozer. It. It's a bulldozer as a fork, an excavator. Ain't that cool? And that's a spoon right there. Yes, yeah, spoon and fork. Judah is going to love that. So. Are we getting in the plate? Or no, just, the stuff? Just, just that. That's all I can afford. Anyway, <laughs> those things are like seven bucks a piece. But anyway. Here's some aprons. Uh, aprons. Always aprons. Anyway. We're just shopping around here, and uh, we'll bring you guys back in a little bit. Okay, guys, let me show you. This is the coolest thing. It's like a it's shopping a cut, it's a cutting, cutting board. board. It's a cutting board. Check it out. See, it's and a cutting board. Cut, 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 cut. And then, while your stuff is on here, you just fold, fold up the up. sides and, and go dump it in your pot. Is that not the coolest that thing? That is cool. Why can't I think of these things? Okay, all right. We're not promoting this. We've never <laughs> used it, never tried it. <laughs> But there's the label right but there. It's pretty awesome. Chop to pot by Joseph and Joseph. That is a cool, cool idea. Okay, guys, we've just got it finished shopping. Now we have just sat down at a little restaurant here in Black Mountain called Veranda, I believe is the name of it. Um, it's kind of like a sandwich and soup shop. What we have gotten, tell them what we've ordered, sweetie. It is pesto turkey sandwich. Say it again so they can see you. Pesto turkey sandwich. Pesto turkey sandwich. Um, it is it is a pesto mayo with turkey and bacon. No, maybe not bacon, just turkey, mm -hmm. tomatoes, and spinach mm -hmm. on ciabatta bread. Yeah, what we did was we ordered that and split it, and then we also got a bowl of tomato feta basil soup yeah we know it's not the farming pastor's wife tomato basil soup but this has it's got feta cheese it's got in it. feta it had me at feta yeah it had her at feta because she knows i'm feta up <laughs> <laughs> i love me some feta. anyway let's here, try it we're just enjoying the soup let's enjoy it. let's try it right here is it good oh my goodness is it good delicious Okay, so next time you do tomato basil, you're going to have to add a little feta. I'm going to have to add some feta. Okay. All right, guys, you've heard it right here on the Farming Pastor's Wife. So uh, we're going to check out, enjoy our little lunch together, and uh, we'll take you to dinner with us too. Bye, guys. Okay, guys, we took a long, long... Winter's nap. Long winter's nap. We went back to the room and took a nap. And so we're late getting out for supper, but we're here at my father's pizza. And so we're going to give them a try and see what they think. Not see what they think. See what we think. <laughs> I'm still half asleep. See what we think about my father's pizza. You want to explain what we have here? Hey guys, this, we're at what's called Godfather's Pizza. In, no, it's my father's pizza. We're at my father's <laughs> pizza in Black Mountain. 
This is my father's uh, Supreme, and this is the Hawaiian. So we have bacon and pineapple and ham, and this is everything uh, under the bun. <laughs> we were at an impasse as to what to get because we couldn't decide. Because so Leslie, Leslie wanted her way? No, I said we I both wanted, wanted it. So no, they made it both ways for us. So we're gonna say the blessing and give this a try. Okay guys, I'm in my nightgown and I'm sitting by the fire and um, I didn't tell you about the food. It was delicious. The pizza was great. It was delicious, but let me tell you, she offered us dessert and we were like, well, we'll take a piece of carrot cake to go. Just put one piece in a box and we'll carry it to go. She brings us the box and I'm telling you, I think she cut us a quarter of the cake and it was a huge cake anyway. I mean, there's like seven layers on it. I mean, it's huge, huge. And um, she said, I like y'all, y'all are nice. <laughs> She's keeping us, <laughs> I mean, it was huge. So anyway, we went to McDonald's, got a cup of coffee and come back here and we've been nibbling on the cake <laughs> and I am getting ready to call it a day. And um, tonight is our last night here. We're going to be heading home. Tomorrow's Wednesday for us. Not sure when you'll see this, but um, yeah. So anyway, we're going to be heading home. We're not in any hurry to leave. Uh, in fact, we are prepared to stay a sec uh, another night, not a second night, but a fourth night. Um, but I think we have a ladies conference this weekend and Bryant, Mr. Bryant is providing the lunch for us and he's cooking the lunch. Him and a gentleman from church, William Lanier, they are fixing, and Rodney, and Rodney Jordan, they are fixing our lunch for us. Um, I didn't know Rodney was doing it. Yes. Oh, good. So, Bryant, William, and Rodney are going to be doing our lunch for us for the ladies' conference. The it is called the If Gathering. And um, you, if you may have heard of it, um, it's Jenny Allen. And um, so, our church is hosting um, an event. So, anyway, um, we're going to head home so he can start getting his supplies up and... Um, get ready to fix a meal for us this weekend. So anyway, thank you guys for watching the farm and pastor's wife. I hope you've enjoyed going around with us on our vacation, our little time and getaway. Uh, we've enjoyed sharing it with you. So thank you guys for watching the farm and pastor's wife. Wait, what? Oh, yes. Let me give one more shout out again to the little store we went to and I showed you, um, Mountain Me. Y'all, please go to their website and check them out. That is the sweetest lady who owns it. It is Christian-owned. They have the most wonderful Christian t-shirts. And um, then they just have a lot of beautiful other stuff. So, when you go, when you go to the uh, website, be sure to tell them that the farming pastor's wife sent you there. And just check out what they've got. I don't know if there's any way to communicate with them or not, but... Um, just tell them that the farm and pastor's wife was recently in Black Mountain on a vacation and uh, that I told you guys about their website. So I will link it down in the description below. Don't forget to check them out. So thank you guys for watching the farm and pastor's wife. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.